What's up, beautiful people? We're about to head to the farmer's market and I'm gonna take you with me. First, I wanted to show you my outfit for today. And we have a cute little Trader Joe's bag. I'm excited and nervous because I've never been to this farmer's market before, but it's within walking distance to me and I wanna go. So let's go check it out. We made it back and the bag is secured. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I did end up getting a little lost, but it's okay. I got my steps in. I got to take some really pretty photos of LA. It was a good day. I actually ended up having a lot of fun. And there was a bumblebee that got stuck to my shirt. Bees have been like a spirit animal for me lately. It was such a cool experience. I felt like I had a little spirit guide, a little spirit animal just hanging out with me, keeping me protected and basically telling me to get out of my comfort zone and to do a little exploring. I love exploring and I got to see some really beautiful things today because I let myself explore instead of just trying to rush back home. Life lessons, word. Here's everything that I got. Six eggs, carrots, this shower bundle. It has eucalyptus, tea tree, some other herbs in there too. I'm gonna cut some of this off and use it for baths and maybe turn one of them into an oil. Picked up this juice because I just kind of stumbled across the juice stand and I really was looking for some sort of protein smoothie, but juice is what we got. And I asked the woman what her favorite was, and she said it was the vampire. She also told me I was beautiful, and that made me want to buy something even more because she complimented me. So compliments work if you're trying to make sales, because I really had no intention of buying this. But she said it was good for the skin, and she said that I'm really beautiful, so I bought it. I wanted to insert a quick update about the vampire juice. This is from Flor de Lima, Farmer's Market Juice in San Fernando, California. This vampire juice is really good. It has orange, carrots, celery, beets, spinach, and some other things in here that I can't see because there's a label on top of it. But this was really good. I was very pleasantly surprised with this. I got a new necklace because all of my necklaces have broken and the only one I have left is the one that says LA on it. But I like to change up my jewelry every once in a while and I haven't had an evil eye necklace in a minute so I got this evil eye necklace, the little heart. I also had a coffee from Coffee by Sergio and it was incredible. I asked him to give me one of whatever his favorite drink was, but it was sold out. So he ended up giving me something that had cinnamon. It was like a cinnamon coffee cake kind of a drink with oat milk and I added cinnamon powder on top. It was delicious. And I 10 out of 10 will be getting it again whenever I go back to that Sunday farmer's market. Okay, and then last but not least, we have berries. Ta-da! So that's it for my little day out. Thanks for coming along with. I'm really glad that I faced that fear and went because I ended up having such a good time and I will definitely be going back more Sundays. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'm not going to gatekeep. It is a farmer's market that's every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in downtown LA between 5th and Spring Street. It's by the last bookstore. There you go. You're welcome if you want to go and check it out for yourself. Enjoy. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. And I will see you next time. Peace.